Hi, and welcome to this week's episode of the Brand Method TV. I'm your host, Emma Ebling, and today we're going to be looking at how to create a 3D version of one of these gift cards so that you can use it on your website. We're going to be using Canva, but first off, make sure you've hit that notifications button and you've slapped subscribe so that you never miss one of our tutorials on designing in Canva or digital and branding strategy to market your business online. So let's jump in and check out how to create, create one of these babies. You can use this gift card as I have on your website as a freebie, or you can use it within your shop where someone can download it and send it to someone as a gift like we have here. So to create this, we need to jump on into Canva and I'm going to select the Instagram post template because it gives me a instant square artboard. Coming over to elements, I want to scroll down to lines and shapes and select see all. And I'm looking for this one here without the border, just the curved corners. I select it. I'm going to select the color that I want. This time I'm going to go with purple. Now, all of the things that I'm showing you in this tutorial are the exact same steps that I use to create this looking gift card here. I've just repositioned some of the elements in different places, but I want to show you how I create something from scratch because it'll show you how you can think creatively to create your own unique gift card. Now, we just want to scale this down a little bit. You can eyeball this, pull it out, but get a shape that resembles the structure of a gift card. Next, I want to add some text. So I'm going to select T on my keyboard. That's a quick key code to bring up your paragraph text. Or you can come over here to the side and select text and add in a header, subheading, etc. It works in the same way. We can edit this text. I'm just going to delete that. We can edit this text by highlighting it and coming over here and selecting the type of font we like. Now I'm looking for something that's a script font or a handwriting font. And I want something that doesn't look too out there, that is really legible. So that's not going to work. I'm going to scroll down. I think I'm going to go with this one. It's a handwritten font, but it has some fun about it. And I'm going to write gift card. I'm also going to make sure this is left hand aligned. And I'm going to whoop, backspace. I'm going to put these on two separate lines, highlight them and come up here to the spacing element and reduce the line spacing so it's nice and tight. I'm also going to capitalize and make each of the tech, sorry, the, each of the letters uppercase. I'm going to add that to the middle of my card using the guides and next I'm going to add an element. So I'm back over here, but this time I'm going to look for a rainbow. I can select graphics to filter out all the photos. And now I've just got something that I can edit. I'm going to pick this one. This one also allows me to change the colors of the rainbow if I wish, but I think I'm going to stick with these because this will go nicely on our vivid template. What I want to do is I want to pull this illustration out over the edges of the gift card. And because these parts are transparent here, I want to still be able to see the corner of my gift card. Now, I am going to show you a trick a little bit later on how to get rid of this, but don't worry about it that it's overlapping at this point. Next, I'm going to highlight this text and I think I'm going to pick the pink, the dark pink in here to make it match. Again, bringing it down, I'm going to select T again on my keyboard and I wish to add an amount. Now, I don't want to use exactly the same font here. I want something a little bit different so it stands out and it doesn't compete. 
But this time I'm going to look for a font that is, um, oh, here we've got, that finally appeared. Our suggestions, I can go for something that's a heading, a paragraph font, and these are categories that we can choose from, but I'm going to go something that's corporate and very clear. Bringing that down just a fraction and highlighting it, select all, changing it to white. Now, this card looks a little plain. I think I want to add a bit of texture to it. So I'm going to come back over to Elements, Texture, Select, and this one here looks good. I'm going to pull it out over the edges of the gift card. I can change the color of it here. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to make it a light pink. And then in the corner here, because it's very bold and it seems to be overlapping the rainbow and also this text here, I'm going to first hit the transparency key or button and I'm going to zoom out for a sec so you can see what I'm doing. Bring the transparency right down and I'm going to position it backwards and I want to make sure it's all the way to the back and then I can bring it forward just in front of that purple card because I don't want it overlapping the foreground elements. I want them to be really clear. Next, what I need to do is create a solid background that covers all of these elements. So what I want to do is click R or select R on my keyboard, which brings up a box. Or if I'm looking for one over here, elements, lines and shapes, and I can just select this one here. I want to bring this box all the way out to the edges and overlap it and all the way down to the edge of my gift card. Now these need to be white. I can right click, I can copy, right click, I can paste and I get another one. I'm going to bring it down here or select Alt or Option on your keyboard and drag that element and you can create an identical version of it. I'm going to add these to the sides. I'm just going to the edge of the gift card and one on this side. Notice I haven't worried about the corners. And now I just adjust my elements. I'm going to pull that up, see how that was dragging down there. And I've got that nice corner. In a minute, we're going to remove this background and we'll just be left with the card. But as I said before, we can create a really unique looking gift card. If we have an element that doesn't have, say, a transparent part here and we can't see the curve. So I just want to show you that now. Say I was looking for a leaf and I might use this one. I'm going to drag it to my artboard, reduce the size of it. I'm just going to delete that for the moment. And I'm going to right click, copy, right click, paste, and create another one, except this one I don't want in the same direction. So I'm going to come up here and flip. I can either flip it horizontally or vertically. I'm going to flip it horizontally. That's hard to say. And I'm going to bring it over. I still want them overlapping the edge of my corner here. However, when I bring these blocks forward, it's going to cut off the points of the leaves. Now that doesn't look realistic. So I want to select that item, hold down shift and select the item next to it, come up to group, and then now one item and I can rotate them. Oop, and I'm going to rotate them. I'm going to move this to the back so you can see how far it's hanging over. And I'm going to hang it over the edge there. I'm going to bring this one back forward Whoop, to the front. This one position to the front. You can also right click and you can send them back or backwards or forwards as well. You don't always have to come up here, which is a great little trick. And now you can see that this 
here is a very sharp edge. I just want to make sure that I've got that right on the corner there. You might need to do a little bit of adjustment. There we go. Oh, there we go. And we can see that this has a really sharp edge on the side of this gift card. I don't think that looks bad. It creates a really individualized look for your gift card. And when we create that 3D effect, it won't really be that noticeable. Um, but I think it looks trendy, modern, and unique. So there's two options that you can have. We're going to go back to that rainbow. I can come back to deleting that and it will show me my recently used items. I can just add that in here. I'm going to rotate it. If you wanted this rainbow to be like so, vertical, you could have it that way as well and position these items in front. Right click, bring to front. And I would just make sure that that covers the edge there. But I really like the fact that it's curved on this one. Radio, we've got all of our elements in place. I want to now come to the big download button. I'm selecting PNG because I want a high quality image. I'm going to raise the size of it because it will shrink down. I don't need a transparent background and so I can just download. And the purple button, upload media. Grab our image that we just created. Wait for it to fully load and then add it to our artboard. We can crop it down by moving these in. I'm going to change the background color of this artboard so you can see that it is a solid area of white. We want to remove that now. So I'm going to select the item, edit image. I'm looking for the background remover. It's here in my recently used items or I can scroll down and I can find it within the menu. It's usually towards the top. It'll take just a second to remove that background. If for some reason it takes some of this text out and makes it transparent, you can always click the restore button and then just go over the parts that you want to restore. Or if something hasn't been taken out of, you use the erase button. But this is looking really good. So I'm going to select apply down the bottom and add that to this image so that it now has a transparent background. I'm going to remove the blue and make it white again. I'm going to select the image, come back up to edit image, and this time I'm looking for shadows. So scrolling down, it's usually towards the bottom, but it depends on where and when you added these different editing options to your Canva account. I'm going to select all. And I'm going to play around with different backdrops. This one here I like because it looks like it's created a shadow and it gives that realistic 3D effect. I have some editing options here. By clicking on them, I can change the color of that background. If I maybe want it to be purple or a darker purple because it is a shadow after all, I can change the blur and make it more opaque or I can make it a little hazier. The transparency I can also alter if I want it to be a very light shadow. And I can also change the vertical and horizontal angles of that shadow. So I like this one where it looks like it's completely dropped below. I'm going to bring the transparency up there so you can see. And because this is going on our Vivid website, the background here is purple, but it's like a light mauve color. So I want this to be a darker purple. You can make it black, but sometimes I find that's a little harsh. So I like to play around, but you go with what's comfortable for you. And I think I'm going to bring the transparency down on that just a little. And now I'm going to hit apply and come over and download this image 
with a transparent background this time. I want to make sure it's a PNG still. I'm going to raise the eyes of the file and I'm going to select the second page here because if I select both of them, it's going to download as a zip file and I only need one. Done, download. Now that's downloaded, I can come back to my Vivid account. I'm going to the edit section and I'm going to replace this iPad with my gift voucher. So I go to edit. I can remove this image. I want to add a new image. I'm going to select the one that I just downloaded. I want to make sure the caption is still off. And once that's loaded, I can then edit the text beside it to reflect that this is a gift voucher to sign up for. So I'm going to edit this, grab your gift voucher today. Now I could have gift card there, but gift voucher just makes it stand out a little bit and it makes it not look repetitive here. So I might want to add something in here. Only 50 to give, whoops, away. A bit of urgency there. Now, if I want to create this image and make it a little larger, I can get rid of this spacer here. Oop. Looking for the trash can. And maybe I want to pull that in and pull. Oh, is this a text? No, it's a spacer. Pull that down a little bit so that it is looking nicely balanced there. Or I can get rid of that altogether. But because we created this with a Squarespace template, but that leaves us with a lot of white space or negative space around this gift card and it doesn't look balanced and because this is the size of the entire image we can't remove this space we can't shrink it so what we need to do is go back to our original design and we want to bring it out as far as we can and make it as large as possible but we may need to change the template now because this is a rectangle and we don't want to have this negative space above and below, we want to go over and resize this artboard. So we come up here to resize and we can select from a number of different options, but I want to make this one 250 by 500. That is 250 wide. Oops, we want to move those around the other way. No, that's correct. No, yes, 500. In a different spot of the Canva, they're round the other way around. <laughs> and I want to resize this. I don't want to copy and resize it. I just want to resize this artboard. And now I can pull this all the way out. Again, centering it to the best of my ability, making sure that I don't cut off any of the fading here. And that looks about right. I might center that in the middle there. I want to check that it's still transparent, beautiful, white, download, transparent background, increase the size, select page two, done, download. And while we're waiting for that to download, we can go back to our vivid template edit, remove image, add image, select our new image. Wait for it to load. And once it does, we have a lot more visual balance there and see how these two line up together and there's not a lot of negative space at the top and then we if we like we can create 
more space, but we are in control of that. So this looks really good. We can now grab our gift voucher today, only 50 to give away, and we can add some extra text in there to give some instructions on you know, filling in your email address and we'll send it straight through. There you have it. Lots of creative ways to create your own unique looking gift voucher images for your website. Make sure you show us what you come up with. Because we love seeing how you get your creative on.